Hello everyone, I'm David Zarifpour and in this video I want to talk about buckling in SOLIDWORKS. First, I explain the equation of buckling. As you can see, the equation of buckling is Euler equation. And critical force is depend on elastic module, inertia and length of the problem. And inertia is depend on section. For example, for circular section, inertia depends on radius. And here you can see effective length. Depend on what boundary condition we use for our problem, effective length is different. And here we want to solve the problem for circular section. And we have an equation, Euler equation. We used 210 gigapascal for an elastic module and circular section by 10 millimeter radius for inertia and and 300 millimeter for lens and we use first boundary condition for our problem that means effective lens is double of lens now we want to solve this problem in solidworks and and before that as you can see the effect critical force is about 45 kilonewtons now we go to the solidworks I go to the part. First, I draw my problems. For example, as we have in the PowerPoint, circular section by 10 millimeter radius or 20 millimeters diameter. After that, extrude about 300 millimeter. After that, in SOLIDWORKS add-ins, I active SOLIDWORKS simulation and go to the simulation tab, click new study, I select buckling and click OK. I apply material. As we have in equation 210 gigapascal for elastic module, I use alloy steel. 210 gigapascal is elastic module and click apply. After that, close. For boundary condition, I use fixed geometry for bottom side. And click on force in top. And I use one Newton and click OK. That's it. I run this study. And here in load factor, we have critical force is buckle occur in this problem. As you can see, is about 45 kilonewton. And in Euler equation also we critical force is 45 kilonewtons. So we can easily solve buckling problems in SOLIDWORKS. I hope this video was useful for you.